Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about layouts in Hexo. In the last tutorial, we created this GA theme. So we created a new theme. And all we did was we just put these four, five, these four folders in here and then this config.yaml file. That's all we did. And we set it up so that our website is now using this theme. And it's completely blank because we haven't done anything to the theme. I also want to point out my source folder up here. Inside of my source folder, I have one post, which is called A dot markdown, and I have one page, which is B. So I have a post A and I have a page B. Layouts are basically different files that go inside of your hexo theme, which determine the look and the feel of the website. So in this layouts folder, we want to create a new file and I'm going to make a file and I'm just going to call it, um, we'll just call it layout.ejs. So this ejs file extension is a file extension that you need to use on these um, layout files, okay? So we've created this layout.ejs file and I want to create one more file which is going to be called index.ejs. So this one will just be index.ejs. And both of these files are inside of this layout folder. Now, this layout file right here, what I want to do is add in a basic HTML skeleton. So I'm just going to add in some basic HTML code. And then inside of these body tags, what I want to do is write a very specific line of code. And it's going to look like this. It's going to be less than sign, percent sign, a hyphen body and then another percent sign and a greater than sign. So understandably, this is a little confusing, but you're going to see what it does in a second. I'm going to go over to this index.ejs file and I'm just going to type out this is the index.ejs file. Okay. So right here we have the content in the index.ejs file is just that. Over in my layouts folder, I also just want to type one more thing and I'm just going to type this is the, whoops, can't type today, layout.ejs file. And then I'm going to put a break right here. And so now what happens is when I head over to my website, I'm going to refresh the page and you'll see that two lines of code show up right here. We have this is the layout file.ejs and we have this is the index file.ejs. Now I want to add one more line of code over here just to really drive home the point of what's happening here. And I'll just copy this same line and we'll put this down here. And now when I refresh my page, you'll notice that this is the layout.ejs file is surrounding on both sides this index.ejs file. So what's happening is we have this layout.ejs file and this is the highest level layout in our website. So all of the pages on our website are going to be using this layout.ejs file. And in here in this layout.ejs file we have this special line of code which is just this little body tag right here. And basically what this does is this little body tag is going to get replaced with the contents of this index file. And so you can see that here's the contents of the index file. And when we rendered the page, this content got put inside of here. So it got put where this body tag was. And this is basically how we work with layout. So we have this overall layout, which is this layout.ejs. And then we have this individual layout, which is index. And we're right here on the home page of the website. Now, remember, I also had two other files. Um, so I had this B file right here. And we'll go over here to this B file. And on this B file, it's the same exact text. And so it's using this index.ejs file and it's using this layout.ejs file. I can also go over to that um, A file. And on, so on this A file, it's the same thing. So we're using this layout.ejs and this index.ejs. So this is basically how you can create a layout for all the pages on your site, right? So all the code that's inside of this layout.ejs file is going to show up on all of these files that we go to. 
but you can also get more specific with your layout. So I have two layouts right here. I have layout.ejs and index.ejs. But let's say that I wanted to have a layout that was specific to only the blog posts on my website. So maybe I wanted the blog post on my website to look and feel a certain way that was different from the rest of the site. I can create an individual layout just for those blog posts. So I'm gonna make a new file and we'll just call this post.ejs. And inside this post file, why don't we just make like a header and we'll put, um, this is a post, okay? So now what's gonna happen is, I'm here on the home page and you'll notice that nothing has changed, but if I head over to that A file, you'll notice that instead of using the code that's inside of this index.ejs file, it's now using the code that's inside of this post file. So when we create this post.ejs file, basically Hexo says, okay, for any of the blog posts or any of the posts on our site, we want to use this post file, but we're also still using this layout file. So this layout file is like the highest level layout. And then the post file is a layout that gets inserted inside of this uh, layout.ejs file. You can also do the same thing for the pages on our website. So remember, we have this page called B and by default B, so any of the pages on your site are gonna use this post.ejs file or if this post.ejs file isn't available, they're gonna use this index.ejs file. But let's say we wanted the post to look different. We could make a new file and, or let's say we wanted the pages to look different. Sorry, we could make a new file and we'll just call it page.ejs. And inside of this page, we can make another header and we'll just say, this is a page. And so now instead of saying it's a post, this is now gonna say that it's a page. So hopefully you can kind of see what's going on here. And I wanna show you one more thing. Inside of this A markdown file, we have a category and we have a tag. So you can create layouts for categories and tags too. So I could create a file called tag.ejs and we'll make another header that'll just say, this is a tag. And now when I go to this tag, so it's just tag one, when I go to that tag page on my website, which is just forward slash tag forward slash tag one, or actually, sorry, it's tags forward slash tag one, um, it's gonna render this tag as the header. So, and you can do the same thing with categories. So I could create a category.ejs page. And so hopefully you see what's going on where I have this layout.ejs file and depending on the type of page that I go to in my website, it's gonna use a different one of these layouts. And those layouts are just gonna get inserted into this higher level layout and that will allow us to control how our website is um, structured. So inside this layout.ejs file, you could put like your header up here, right? You could put a footer down here, and then depending on the type of page you're at, that will change what content is in between those two elements on the website. So that's the basics of layouts, and you can get really complex with uh, the types of layouts that you make, and really this will allow you to control every aspect of HTML and styling and organization on your website. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.